Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. It's been a little bit since I've posted a video. Been super busy with work. I'm having my bathroom remodeled right now as well. So I just really haven't had a lot of time to go out and post some videos. And honestly, I haven't had a lot of time to shoot my bow. Um, I just got out two days ago for the first time in probably a month or so um, to actually shoot my bow some. And so I've shot for a couple of days now, just trying to get back into the rhythm of, of drawing back, you know, taking 20, 30, 40, 50 shots a day. And I'm gonna start trying to get back into that rhythm. And I'm also gonna try and start posting a few more videos about how I'm tuning my bow, how I'm tuning my arrows to my bow. And so that's where I'm gonna to start today. I'm gonna to do a little bit more paper tuning. The last video you saw of me, I was bear shaft tuning my new arrows here. These are the Victory V-Force Gamer Arrows. And I actually have the Zinger Fletchings I've now put on. And so I've shot these a decent amount and I actually really like these Zinger Fletchings. I'll do a brief review of it at the end of this video to kind of tell you my two cents about them as well. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and get the paper tuning set up here and we'll go ahead and get started shooting some of these arrows. Also, if y'all haven't already watched my video on my DIY archery target, you can go ahead and I'll put a link up here for y'all to watch that. I also have a paper tuning stand set up. However, I've kind of revamped it since that video, as you can see. So if you're interested on what I did to do that, shoot me an email and I will give y'all more info. All right, guys, so just a little intro into what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to pick an arrow. I know a couple of these I've had issues with bear shaft tuning, so I'm not going to pick one of those. But I'm going to pick one of these arrows, and I'm going to paper tune it just for that arrow. And then I'll go through and make sure that the rest of my arrows match that tuning. And then from there, I'm going to actually go ahead and pick which arrows that I want to hunt with and which arrows that are going to be more my target practice arrows. And I'm going to take those arrows that I want to hunt with and I'm going to set them aside for now until I do some broadhead tuning. But really, those are going to be my arrows that I will not touch except for hunting purposes. And then the rest of them I'll just use as my practice arrows so that I can sling those down range as much as I want without a worry that it's going to affect my hunting setup. So I have a little bit of a knock left tear for my first shot. I'm going to take another shot and make sure that that's consistent. So as you can see, all these are uh, left and that one was a little low there. And then these two over here are with a different arrow, but pretty much the same results. Getting a left and maybe a slightly low tear. I tried two different arrows and both are giving me a knock left and maybe a tad low tear. So I'm going to go get my Allen wrenches so I can loosen up the adjustments and then micro adjust my rest to make this work. So for this left tear, I'm going to start with the left and right first. So I'm going to actually move my rest to the left to fix a left tear. I'm going to take a couple shots and see how that works. So I moved my rest a few times and I'm still getting the same tear, which kind of tells me two things. I'm having a grip issue, or there's an issue with my bow that's causing that. And I'm looking at my Hamsky rest here, and it looks like it's not all the way seated down, so I may be having some contact with the rest itself. So I'm gonna see if that's the problem by fixing that first, and then take a few more shots. Just to show you all what I'm talking about, I have I don't know how well you can see this, but the rest is just not, you know, I think I want it a little further down. And so I think I may be hitting the rest as it leaves here. So I'm going to lower that down and tighten it up a little bit and see if that helps. I've got that tightened up and I'll take another shot or two here. Made a few more rest adjustments as well. The last shot looked pretty good. So I'm going to take a couple more just to confirm that. Here's my last shot here. Looks like I got a pretty good bullet hole. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the paper down some, start with a clean sheet and shoot all 12 arrows. Shot all 12 arrows. This was one, 
Definitely had some bad tear there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So as you can see, a lot of them were pretty solid. You know, this one was pretty good, pretty good, 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 good. Eh, eh. These last four weren't so great, but I do think I was getting tired near the end, so I may try those four first this time. Although, one definitely seems to be giving me issues, so I think that's going to end up being a practice arrow. But I may try 9, 10, 11, 12 again. See how those shoot. Three shot some arrows, and most of them were pretty solid. This one I really liked here. Um, that one seems like a tad of a tear. This one was not that great, not too bad. I'm not sure why it tore like that, it kind of worries me. And then this one's not too bad either. So, honestly, out of all the tears, none of them are terrible. I just have to pick my best six. So based on that, I have my six best arrows picked out and then my other six arrows that'll be my practice arrows. And I'm not saying that those are bad arrows or that I had terrible shots on those, because honestly, I probably could make every single one of these work, but these seem to be the most consistent for my shooting. Six good arrows, six practice arrows. And I'll do a little bit more tuning. I may do some walk back tuning or something like that at some further distances to make sure my bow is tuned correctly for these arrows. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with this setup. Hunting season's about two to three months away for most people. So I feel like I'm getting close. I need to keep practicing. I'm going to start shooting, you know, 40, 50 shots a day. And as we get closer, I'll do a few more videos if I do some tuning stuff. I'm excited to get out there in the stand and either take down some hogs or some deer. I'm actually going out to the property in a couple weeks and may get a chance at taking down a hog with one of these arrows. So really got to get some practice in since I haven't shot in a while. I did promise y'all a little review at the end of this with the Zinger fletchings. So I'm going to talk about these now. I'm actually really happy with these fletchings. This is my second year using the Zingers. This is the Zinger 2.0. It only comes in white, which isn't really a big deal. I think, you know, once they realize how good these fletchings are, they'll start producing more colors on them as well. Um, I like how thin they are. I'll come a little bit closer. I like that they don't take up a ton of the arrow. They don't stick out very far. And honestly, if you tune your arrows well enough, you don't need a giant fletching on the end of this. You just need something that's gonna help stabilize it. They do seem to stay on. I haven't had any issues with them moving at all. Um, biggest complaint so far was I just had one that the weight was off by almost one and a half grains compared to the rest. Other than that, I really can't complain about these fletchings. They actually seem a lot quieter than the fletchings I used last year from Zinger. And I really like that. Last year at times, I feel like I could hear them flying through the air, and I'm not quite sure why, but these 2.0s, I mean, they are quiet, they fly smooth, honestly can't complain about them, love the fact that they slide on and off, so I don't think I'm going to go away from the Zinger 2.0s anytime soon. If y'all haven't had a chance to check them out or buy a couple, buy three, six of them, just check them out, see if you like them. They're not necessarily for everybody, but I love the functionality, so I'd give them a try. That wraps up this video. I'm hoping to get y'all a little bit more content over the next couple months before the season starts. Going out to the property, like I said, hopefully we'll get you some hunting videos. If not, I'll definitely have some work I'm doing around the property. I'm putting up a uh, two-man quad pod from Game Winner, so stay tuned for that. I'll have a few more Skillet Sunday videos coming up. If y'all have any questions on my setup, the Zinger fletchings, or anything I've done in my past couple of videos, feel free to shoot me an email. I have it in the description below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next week. Thanks.